In this video, we're going to look at probability tree diagrams. So this question says Tom and Sam each take a driving test. The probability that Tom will pass the driving test is 0 0.8 and the probability that Sam will pass the driving test is 0 0.6. Complete the probability tree diagram for part A. So what we're going to do is say, well, the probability that Tom passes is 0 0.8. So the probability that he fails is 1 minus 0 0.8 which is going to be 0 0.2. The probability that Sam passes is 0 0.6. So the probability that Sam fails is 1 minus 0 0.6, which is 0 0.4. And because it's the same person, Sam, so we could write probably that he fails is again is 0 0.4. Now for part B, it says work out the probability that both Tom and Sam will pass the driving test. Key word in probability, both means multiply the word and also means multiply so for part b we want to find the probability that tom and sam pass the driving test so the probability that tom passes is 0 0.8 or in other words 8 out of 10 and means multiply so put a times probability that sam passes is 0 0.6 or 6 out of 10 so we can do 8 times 6, which is 48. 10 times 10 is 100. So we get 48 out of 100 there. Part C is important. Work out the probability that only one of them passes the driving test. So what that basically means, Tom passes and Sam fails. Is one combination or it could mean that Sam passes and Tom fails so we're writing out the combinations of the probability here so now we can say that the probability that Tom passes is 8 out of 10 multiplied because that means multiply the probability by Sam failing, which is 4 out of 10. Or in probability means plus. Now we go down the other case. The probability of Tom failing is 0 0.2 or 2 out of 10. And the probability of Sam passing is 0 0.6, which is 6 out of 10. Now we can work out what the answer is. 8 times 4 is 32. 10 times 10 is 100 plus 12 out of 100. So the answer is 44 out of 100 there. Here's a question for you to try. You can pause the video and when you're done, I will go through my work solution. Okay, welcome back. This question says, Amy is going to play one game of snooker and one game of billards. The probability that she will win a game of snooker is three quarters and the probability that she will win a game of billards is a third. So the probability that Amy wins snooker is three quarters. So the probability that she loses a game of snooker is one minus three quarters, which is a quarter. Then regarding billards, the probability that Amy wins billards is a third. And the probability that she does not win billards is one minus a third, which is two thirds. Because it's the same game, we can write down the probabilities as a third and two thirds. So we've completed our tree diagram. So now part B says, the question says to work out the probability that Amy will win exactly one game. So what we're going to do is do the following. We're going to say, well, that's basically the probability that Amy wins snooker and loses billards or it's the probability that Amy wins billards and loses 
snooker. So we've written our combinations down. So the probability that Amy wins snooker is three quarters and means multiply. So the probability that she loses billards is two thirds. Then the next case is that Amy wins billards, which is a third. And she loses the game of snooker, which is a quarter. So now we can solve this. Three times two is six. Four times three is 12. Plus one times one is one. And three times four is 12. So we get a final answer of seven out of 12.